Now, what is one thing that you do not like to do in the summertime? If you have the answer to that, go ahead and answer. One thing that you do not like to do in the summertime, regardless of where you live, some people have warm season all the time, but you know, you have the warmer, warmer months and you have the months that are just comfortable or you live somewhere where you have the four season. When it comes on to the summertime for me, there's one thing that I don't like to do. And I'm going to share that with you in a few minutes. Um, Deborah, um, Leonard, welcome to the live. Joy Ali, welcome to the live. Yannette Lisette, welcome to the live. Hi, Cynthia, I got your email. Maya, Lorna, Yetundi, I think you are new. Welcome from Winnipeg, um, Manitoba, and that is Canada. We also have, um, oh, we have a lot of Canadian today. Claudia Simit from Canada. Mio Mu, um, welcome. We have Teresa Mel. Now, Kisha, welcome. Kisha, this week, okay? All right, Juliana, welcome. Now, welcome to the live chat, guys. I have been working all morning, okay? I've been working all morning doing some little project at home. So there's something that is going on with me right now that you might not notice, but I'm going to tell you about it later. I know some of you are going to notice, like, like Kisha and Juliana might be looking at like, or you want to tell me you couldn't do that but anyway we're going to talk about the skin today i like the skincare videos live chat because i get a chance to hear what is going on with your skin when it comes on to the skin you will always it doesn't matter what age you are you will always need to take care of your skin and that's why we talk about the skin all the time we talk about the skin all the time because we all have our skin and we all want it to look good so we're going to talk about boots and collagen today we're going to talk in a, we're going to talk about you know helping your skin to look younger for longer helping you to look fresher, radiant, and glowing. Just little tips, what that you can do to yourself to get your skin, not only your skin, but your overall appearance to look much better. Now, some of us already look good, right? But we have to continue to take care of ourselves. And when you meet someone, one of the first thing that you notice is their, you know, their face or their appearance, what they're wearing, you know, how they fix themselves. And that is what we're here to do. You know, basically share tips and taking care of your face your hands your your entire body on our own now if you are new to the channel a warm welcome to you we're here to help you with not only natural remedies but skincare on a whole teaching you how to get your skin to look radiant whether you're going to use your own made remedies or you're going to go ahead and buy some stuff at the store this channel will take your skin from dull rough looking skin to a more radiant naturally glowing skin just by following the tips now boots and collagen if you're here and you find that you start having wrinkles then continue watching if you're here and you have dull skin continue watching if you're here and you're face is a little fatter than you'd like it to be and you want it to look a little bit more toned and a little bit longer there's a lot of people that spend a lot of money trying to get their face to look more longer then we're here to give some tips on that also if you're here and you have dark on the eye circles we have tips for you hello Pauline C welcome to the live chat I have not talked to you all week hello auntie how are you doing welcome to the live chat we have a lot of newbies today hi Rita welcome to the chat dark angel back here again today okay Okay, they eat yes I am sweating the honest truth is I came inside here just now and I was like oh my goodness it's not so bad you know and as soon as I start talking then there comes the sweating now you also have to remember that some people tend to sweat regardless if it's hot or not and I don't really know what's going on with me if I'm sweating if it's hot or not but I've been sweating a bit this week so boots and collagen is anyone having wrinkles on the skin that you're trying to get rid of especially your forehead wrinkles your deep parentheses these laugh lines and also if you are having wrinkles at the side of the face right here which we call the crow's feet we're here to talk about I oh my goodness you know what let me put some 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 cool wind on because i'm telling you i can't if you hear a humming guys while i am talking if there's a little bit of humming let me know but this is the only way i'm gonna get myself a little cool today by 
putting on some AC. All right, so back to the skin, guys. And if I sound like I'm all over the place today, I am really not. I'm actually very, very happy. I, um, I had a great week. And I didn't like overwork. I kind of take things a little easy, even though some of you are missing me a lot. But, you know, a little TLC, a little time for myself and my little project that I'm working on that actually helped me to de-stress. So if you notice I'm a little bummy, it's because I get a little time. And that is that is good. Every time, everyone needs to take a little time for themselves to rejuvenate and energize and, you know, get back focus. So that's what we're here for today. Now, if you are living somewhere that is very, very warm, Warm, you're gonna notice that your skin like for me I tend to get darker especially if I spend a lot of time in the Sun in the summertime if you wear makeup also you will know that you tend to do a shade darker now when it start to get this warm and this hot and the Sun is right up in the sky looking down at you like that do not forget your sunscreen it is very very vital regardless of your skin tone you need some form of a sunscreen and if you don't have access to sunscreen screen and you have the good old aloe vera jam it is also good to use on your skin it have to cool that skin down so do not forget your sunscreen sunscreen is a must so now that we get the sunscreen out of the most people struggle with that because most people think like they don't need it personally some sunscreen i don't like the smell of it but it's good to use if you live let's say in america and you buy like your beauty products in america the day products your day moisturizer will have sunscreen it will have sunscreen because in order for it to pass the market it have to have some form of sunscreen now the difference is the amount some have 25 some have 35 some have 45 some have 75 spf but you definitely need sunscreen especially if you're trying to look younger for longer because the sun does age the skin and a lot of people do not understand or do not really believe this but it is all true and that is why daytime beauty products should contain some form of a sunscreen to help your skin to look fresh and radiant for longer now we talk a lot about looking younger for longer on this channel and if you're new you might be like you know i really would want to look younger for longer it take work it take work and it not only take doing your spatial it also means what you eat how you carry yourself working out and all of that and also stress level some of us tend to have a lot of stress going on and stress do age so it's also good to learn to de-stress yourself now when it comes on to clean eating eating a diet that is rich in essential vitamins that is also great to help your skin to look younger for longer a diet that is rich in dark green vegetables omega-3 you're gonna get all that vitamin c spinach um 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 pop chai um 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 what they call those greens again i'm trying to remember greens sometimes i only remember green and when i'm done i'm like oh but we also have like broccoli broccolini we have um callaloo depending some people call callaloo a dish but you know if you're jamaican you know what i'm talking about you also have all these I discovered a website um, recently, which I was fascinated with. Then I found them on Instagram, not a paid commercial, so I'm not gonna even say the name. I don't even remember. Well, what they eat is like the the youngling. I call it youngling, but all they eat is they, you know, they they grow like young vegetables and they pick them young very very young like the sprout and that is what they eat like the tender part and i get to understand that that also help with the skin it help to you know to get rid of wrinkles on the skin when you eat those young fresh vegetables it have to boost collagen and it have everything on all your whole system because you know we could get into something else because the younger it is the fresher the ingredient are and the fresher the vitamins and minerals that is in these little youngling and that is also gonna help your skin okay that's another one thank you for helping me out I cannot remember and parsley uh, you can drink parsley tea too all right so let's take some comments and we're gonna dive into boots and collagen and if you're new and you do not know what this collagen is all about please comment because you know if you're an oldest what good is you already know so we won't go over gr i think this is the first time you're on jackie mom is still at work i'm so happy with your channel and i think i never stopped to follow your channel because you are the best i'm right yes you are we are the best over here now we have um 
We have broccoli, um, um, cucumber, yes. Rosie Beer, hi, I haven't seen you for a while. Laura Venus, teach you what SPF sunscreen do you use for your face? Now, most of my daytime, I do wear makeup, so let's get this right. I do wear makeup, and I basically, I would say I wear makeup almost every day. And my makeup, I like them to have at least 45% um, sunscreen, okay? So that is what I use. My makeup is gonna have sunscreen, but if I'm using any other sunscreen, it's going to be between 45 and 75, okay? Now, we're not going to talk about a brand because if I talk about a brand, it means I'm endorsing a brand and this would be a, 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 a sponsored video. So we ain't talking about the brand. But one day, which I did before, but I'll bring it over where I'm going to come on. I'm going to share a live on second time. If I know where the video is or what I'd named that video, I would share it. But I went through and I explained the a wide variety of details that you need to know about sunscreen, regardless of where you live, because different countries have different standard and all of that. But I promise you guys, especially the fact that it's warm, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take you through the different, what you need to know about sunscreen. My old is what good is subscribe subscribers might have already known although most of you might forget that show so i'll bring it back very 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 soon it's very controversial when it comes down to sunscreen and i think to each his own some people is going to tell you well let's be let's be let's be reasonable here 45 to 50 first of all it was 35 as a matter of fact it used to be years ago it used to be like 25 and with modern technology and everything it went up to 35 then it went up to 45 now they're telling you that you need sunscreen like 75 upwards so controversial but i'm gonna bring that show and when i bring that show to you then you will decide what you think is best for your skin and also know that some sunscreen do irritate the skin even though it's protecting the skin from the sun so we'll talk about that another day but definitely go ahead and use your sunscreen denise how are you doing good day to you i missed the show because of work you're here right now so welcome you're doing a great job this is good for people who follow you thank you so much hi Cindy. Cynthia. All right, you caused me to be wearing sunscreen. Thank you, Chitty. Very, very good. Definitely, definitely wear your sunscreen. Hi, Taryn. I would like to make my own sunscreen. I have a video where I show you how to make your sunscreen, but if you're, as I said on my channel all the time, I cannot measure the SPF, okay? I, can, I don't know how to measure that. And that is why this one thing that I always tell my subscriber, go and get your sunscreen. If not, the best thing to that is aloe vera gel because most of the sunscreen that you're gonna buy out there contain aloe vera gel. There's a popular brand that I used to wear years ago. I think they still have that brand. I could say it, not endorsing a brand. I think it's called Banana Boat. They normally, what they came out with a wide variety of sunscreen that is rich in aloe vera gel. Not sure if it's still around, but um, best thing, natural aloe vera gel. But you don't know how much protection that you're gonna get. You know it's cool the skin and all of that, but when I master it, I let you know what now i'm not taking any chance with that by telling you you know use my natural sunscreen i always suggest that you get one for yourself but you can look at the bottom of the the shelf their pharmacy or drug store, store whatever you call it and you're gonna find sunscreen down there that is not you know gonna gonna break the bank okay Dr. Angel, what, what my grandmother used to do is going out under the sun from 7 to 10 a.m. Then after that, avoid exposure. We do need sun. We do. We all need sun, okay? Now, if you're uh, not in the sun a lot, what you're going to find when you visit your physician, you might end up having to take vitamin D. So definitely, between 7 and 10, 3 hours in the sun, I think that is amazing. Right now, and this is my personal business that I'm going to share, I do take vitamin D because I'm not in the sun a lot. This summer, I decided that I'm going to be in the sun as much as I can because I need to get off taking vitamin D. So that is all the project that I'm working on, guys. I need to spend more time outside, so I need to be out there at least three hours to get that natural vitamin D. When you do not, um, when your lack of vitamin D, a lot of things can happen. And um, this show is not about you know vitamins and supplement, but definitely get a little sunshine. But while you are at it, anything you do, do not overdo. Okay, so don't be laying down out in the sun for hours and hours. Not good. If you have to go, use the 
the sunscreen, but you need a little sun. Sound like I'm confusing, right? But I know you all understand what I am saying about the sun. And why I preach about wearing sunscreen on my channel a lot, because if you're like my skin tone, you might think that you need, you don't need it. And it is a myth. Okay. I personally burn easily in the sun i could be in the sun in one hour i have a really nice tan line going right so don't bother my bother someone came on my channel um the other day and they leave a comment and i was a little annoyed with the comment because i think that sometimes people are not aware of certain things and the person was like um something like your skin might look better like that because um i'm gonna say it okay and i hope the system don't think i'm causing problem here but the person was saying because your skin is black it's tougher it's a myth guys it's a myth it is a myth skin is skin okay skin is skin all right but anyway we'll go into that so it doesn't matter if you are at the lightest spectrum or if you're at the darkest spectrum you need to protect your skin all right it's just that some people might burn easier than some and it doesn't really matter you're gonna have dark skin people that will burn from the sun in one hour and you're gonna have the lighter spectrum that will burn from the sun in one hour okay so it doesn't matter okay and you might have a lighter skin person that could be in the sun and don't get burned easily such as a darker skin person so don't let anybody like you know play with your mind about um darker skin is tougher no it does not work like that thank you for contributing to our show um super sticker in case you're watching and you don't know how the super sticker work, work right below the video you're gonna see a dollar sign if you want to contribute something to our live show you can click on that dollar sign and it doesn't matter how much you contribute a dollar two dollar it doesn't matter it's all and you if you want to support the channel we're here to talk about skin today and it's Sunday Sunday show we are you know not really sticking to the topic if you have a question ask the question we can be all over the place all about skin all right so if you're new you have a question go ahead and ask it and also comment and let us know that you are known if you're an oldies but goodies you understand that the sunday show is you know we just chat chat really chat that is why it is called sunday chit chat with chichi beauty i have ring i have neck wrinkles what do i do now if you have neck wrinkles you need to listen carefully personally for me right now i don't have wrinkles on my neck I'm at the age, however, where I should have wrinkles on my neck. But listen, listen what I do to my neck on a regular. I do a good neck mask. And I have a lot on my channel because I religiously use it for myself. And most time when I'm making my own, I just make a video because double whammy, taking care of myself while sharing a video. What I do, and I like to use clay. Any form of a clay mask is good. And if you don't have clay, guess what? anything that's gonna tighten you have a thing they call cornstarch which i use on my channel a lot is good also you also have um um rice i like the rice also you just blend it to a powder you add hot water to it to make a nice paste and you can add your vitamins and minerals to it and you make a nice cast on your neck and you leave it there to dry on the neck when that is dry and you rinse that off you are gonna practice daily and this is something that you need to do daily do your neck massage i cannot stress that enough it works like a charm okay we have a lot of videos on the channel showing you how to do a neck massage but i am not a professional i just watch other people and learn how to do it for myself they have some amazing videos right here on youtube showing you from the professionals how to take care how to do a good neck massage if you follow and do that every day on your neck i am almost gonna guarantee you that it's gonna help your neck to look better like really really better it's gonna help with that wrinkles on the neck as with anything that you do you got to do it on a regular works like a charm practice the massage as best as you can or as often as you can and you're on your way to having your neck looking good um lilia i think that is hi thank you for all the advice you're the best thank you for your comment left temple area is not alien um, I, um, I menopause, um, pre, um, all right. So because you use the D word, we, we're not even going to say it on the show because you know, they, um, da, 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 da. Now, honestly, ladies, 
um there's um a little bit of a little slackening like you know youtube act actually has kind of lift a little bit of the strictness that they have so maybe we can come up on, on the channel another show not the sunday show and we can talk about menopause okay we we could talk about um menopause and i think that we could also come on and talk a little bit without being too graphic about menses all right so i'm gonna actually have a show and we'll do it and we'll see how it goes people stay within the guideline and we really need to talk about it because there's a lot of people you have the pre and you have le we're you know we all need to talk about these things that affect us so we're gonna think you know go i'm gonna do the show i'm gonna put it out and we're gonna see how it go now if we are if we run into issues with the system talking about it then we won't do it anymore so i definitely will let you know when we're gonna have that show but it's a topic that i personally want to talk to talk about also because i like to hear other people experience and what they're going through and you know help each other to know what to look out for and all of that good stuff so you know if I don't bring it, guys, remind me. And I know some of you will remind me that we're going to try since, you know, we, I get a little freedom that we could talk about certain things. John McFarlane, I haven't seen you for a while. Welcome back. Welcome. I hope you are doing well. Now, um, this is another Joan we're answering. Joan Butcher, when I put on makeup, the lines on my forehead show up. Also, the darkness under my eyes. Please help me. I love this comment. I love this comment. And the reason why I like this comment so much is I know you're not watching. You're new to my channel. And the reason why I know you're new to my channel is because you still have wrinkles on your forehead. Now, look at me really, really quick, Joan. Look at me like really, really quick. Simple, simple. Thing I'm gonna share with you right now and you're gonna do this every day grab your forehead see your forehead like this this is it right here don't know if it is as big as mine. love mine because this is all my daddy my this, I have my my daddy for it like all, all of the half of up here says my father so and he's fast so I like my forehead a lot now because I look at my forehead and I'm like yeah hi daddy anyway let's let's move on you're gonna take your hands like this and guys see my nails <laughs> my nails is looking good cut them down nicely all right john look at this grab here one two all the way to the temple three four do that 10 to 20 times go to the other side one two three 10 to 20 times and so you're gonna do this daily then you go back with your hands and you're gonna do you can start from any side or you can start from the middle and you're gonna bring it up like that bring it up like that 10 to 20 times do that daily after six weeks of doing this put your makeup on come back on the channel and let me know no crease guarantee you but you have to do it you have to do it okay you have to do it you cannot do it today or not do it tomorrow and then you come back and say it didn't work because i guarantee it's gonna work i don't have wrinkles on my forehead i massage my forehead a lot and for those of you who are new you're gonna be like oh but you have some marking on there yes that's another story one two three marking i talk about it all the time so if you if you're new you might not know but i like those there too but definitely massage your forehead it works like a charm, but you gotta keep doing it, doing it, doing it, and then no crease when you put your makeup on. I'm gonna do a makeup show for you guys to show you how you can also apply your makeup. You want water-based makeup. When you get older, guys, you do not need your makeup to be too oily. You need your makeup to be water-based. And guess what? Makeup works better on nice clean skin okay makeup work better and nice clean skin so if you do not have a lot of hyperpigmentation on the skin your skin is not rough because you exfoliate on a regular the makeup just glides on on the skin and i share this with my subscribers all the time because people sometimes look at me and think that i wear a lot of makeup which i don't i do my eyes i like when my eyes is you know but when it comes on to my base like right now look i'm look what i'm doing water base i barely brush it on the skin and that is what you need when you get older the creamier makeup is gonna go right in the crease and it's gonna cause the lines to show take care of your skin that is the bottom line make that when you go in the skincare world and they're advertising makeup notice that they normally use very very young models very very young models for makeup especially makeup base and the reason for that is makeup look better on younger skin there's no way around it 
that means when you get to my age, the base, what you need, the foundation is to take care of your skin, exfoliating that skin and wearing your beauty products so that your natural skin look nice. So when you put that makeup on, all you're doing is just giving yourself a little glow. You know, it's the norm. You want a little lift to the skin. So you put it on, but you don't have to lay it on thick. 90% of the time when people lay that foundation on thick is because they're covering up spots and blemishes all kind of a hyperpigmentation on the skin when you're starting to get wrinkles and you're laying it on thick there comes the crease when you smile you put it on when you look you can see the separation going on you do not want that you want water base I promise you guys we're gonna have a makeup show and I'm not gonna come on and share brand I'm gonna show how to apply and what is good for what skin especially when you get to a certain age now when it comes on to your dark under eyes uh, that is also another thing your eyes could age you a lady once told me that my eyes like just tell my whole life like really now but anyway your eyes could age you when I'm tired you could see that I am tired from looking on my eyes you need a good way to take care of your eyes and that is to cleanse your eyes every day we have a 25 day skincare challenge and i know some of you watch all the time so it's like i don't want to keep repeating i know i have new subscribers so i also know i have to talk about it but the foundation to getting rid of dark on the eye circles and even if you're at the age where certain things tend to be extra difficult if you take care of it the way I suggest, then it's gonna look better. You need to cleanse their eyes. I suggest you use a wash rod. All, all my subscribers that know this, bear with me, do not click off. We're not gonna be just talking about that for long, but it's Sunday to chat. And you guys can also answer the question in the comment box. All of my subscribers that know the answer to some of these questions, I would appreciate it sometimes if you just answer because, you know, we are here to help each other. I always suggest people use a wash rod in the shower. And this is not a wash rod, this is a tissue, but I'm using it for demonstration. Every night, clean your eyes. Whether you wear makeup, yes or no. Most people that don't wear makeup, they don't think that they need to clean the areas around their eyes. They just wash their face and they're good. If you wear makeup, you gotta take it off. If you don't wear makeup, you gotta wash it because guess what? When you wash your face, you're not focusing. And some people use their hands and <laughs> it's not working. You need to get rid of the dead skin cells. Bear with me, guys. If you know the know what I'm saying, just don't click off. Continue. We need to answer the new subscribers. Take your washcloth every day, wash rug, whatever you call it, and you go under your eyes like this, like windshield wiper, and you clean and go on the top too, right? Just do that every day when you take a shower, once a day. And make sure that you exfoliate with that rug because that's why you're using the rug because it's rough enough to exfoliate, but it's soft enough not to irritate your under eyes. When you are done with that, use your eye cream, your eye serum. And if you don't have one, you can make one of the natural ones that I have on this channel. We have some amazing one. Every night you do it, two to three drops on your finger, warm up whatever you're using, and this is what you do. You dab it under your eyes, boots in circulation under your eyes. That is the base for clearing the skin. So next you're gonna know what could clear the dark on the eye circles and it's vitamin C. But definitely look on my 25 days skincare challenge and there's a one hour video dedicated to just taking care of your eyes. You will definitely learn a lot from that. And it's the link is in the description box below so you can link. Any other question, Lauren Bishop, how are you? I put sea moss gel in my smoothie and applesauce. Plus I shower with black licorice and carrot soap. It works. Skin miracle. Always drink water too. Now sea moss and um, sea moss gel. Sea moss can, you know, Anyway, we we'll talk about CMOS another time, but I'm just butting in on some conversation that is going on. Gail, do I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my face, and most stuff break my face out. Now, let's talk about breaking your um um 
um your face out f4 117 i see you welcome to the chat hi sandra levy i haven't seen you for a while welcome 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 chichi lang yes see i know when you guys are not on now i'm gonna go back to the comment that i just um click on where most things break the face out i'm gonna give you a quick tip and i want you to try it for three weeks i wanted to try this tip for three weeks and then you come back and share your result what i'm asking you to do is to steam your face that's all i'm asking you to do for three weeks steam your face two to three times per week and i'm also asking you to exfoliate no more than two times for per week what you're going to use to exfoliate your face is rice so you're gonna get some white rice, you're gonna blend it. Hopefully you have a small blender. You blend that white rice and you can add water to it or you can add some milk, preferably water. You're gonna use that white rice, blend to a powder to exfoliate your face twice per week and you're gonna steam your face. Steam your face, then you exfoliate your face with white rice. Why rice? Because most skin type can tolerate rice. More, rice is good for most skin type, okay? So you're gonna do that for three weeks and then use whatever other beauty products you're using, like your, your facial toner, your serum, don't change anything. The only thing you're changing is to steam your face and exfoliate your face twice per week with that rice. Three weeks I'm giving you to come back and I guarantee you, you're gonna tell me that your face is not breaking out like it used to. All right, just do that, please, please, please. And I'm gonna remember who you are and I'm looking out for you to come back and let us know that, you know, if it works or if it did not work. Now we have um, um, Laura Venus. I've been using my papaya, one of my favorite. The person who asks about wrinkles on the forehead, here is your remedy. The papaya is amazing, okay? The papaya is amazing for your skin. Um, We have a new, okay, I did give you your shout out. Now, and vitamin C serum on my forehead. I noticed today that most of the lines have vanished. Hear it for yourself. Here is a subscriber telling you about the papaya. And most likely, she, well, I know her name, so I know you have been around a while. Papaya is amazing for wrinkles. I know not everyone have access to papaya, but I always preach on my channel. Two natural ingredients that is good for wrinkles, papaya and avocado. Fresh avocado, fresh papaya. It is just amazing for wrinkles. With massage in your skin, give it time to work though. Don't think the wrinkle is gonna disappear in two weeks, at least six weeks onward, you will notice whatever you do, you gotta keep doing it. And thank you for your comment, um, Laura, because as I said, you gotta keep using these things. Um, Yannick, Chichi, rice blend, add water. Okay, blend to powder, steam first, then scrub two to three times a week, okay? perfect 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 and continue to use whatever beauty products you were using before all right we we waiting on you to come back and come in because i know you're gonna come back with good news welcome back to the chat lioness hi jason how are you welcome 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 all right so who else is here let's see who if you're new comment so we could give you your little shout out we like to hear from our new subscribers f4 one seven h welcome welcome and i did welcome you so if you're just joining we're talking about boots and collagen you know reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin lifting firm in the skin how to look younger for longer most of us want to look younger looking younger is not only our skin but our appearance and a whole and also the way we eat guys is is good for you know healthy eating for your skin you need all that vitamins you need all that mineral you know what is um a lot of people are not aware of let's talk a little bit about dry skin especially extremely dry skin did you know that most of the time when you have extremely dry skin you might be lacking just a simple thing as a little bit of a zinc and calcium a little zinc and a little calcium that show that we're going to talk about hopefully i might be able to do that show with menopause and all of that we will talk about some of these vitamins now i'm not telling anyone to run out there and get some zinc or vitamins but um are are you know 
vitamin supplement we'll get back to that somehow but i just it just crossed my mind about dry skin double double duty while i'm doing the show all right so we're talking about skin on the whole now julie Halley want to know do you have to apply pressure when massaging your forehead excellent question you apply the amount of pressure you can tolerate do not overdo it you don't have to no no gentle but a little bit, bit of pressure a little bit of pressure but not too like ooh, no not, that's not gonna work you're not hurting your skin just just this amount and you can feel it when you're doing it not too much just a little very 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 good question so we're trying to look younger we're trying to age in reverse do you notice that a lot of people are now aging in reverse take a look at some people like really really old pictures and look at how they look now they look much much better why is that that is because technology has improved so much and not only that thanks to the internet now we have the internet we are more exposed to a wide variety of beauty products and not only that you're now exposed to shows like these that like for me that do the research and actually bring you the goods so you can know how to take care of your skin but then a lot of people think that skincare is money okay a lot of people used to think that is only rich people's skin look nice and when i use the word look nice we're not talking about skin tone now regardless of your skin color your skin could look dull your skin could look rough we're talking about smooth skin because we now know that we can exfoliate before we know how to exfoliate by going to the store and get one of those popular brand um that has been around for centuries most people regardless of which country you live in might know this brand that use almond in it for exfoliator now we know we can go and blend some rice we can blend brown sugar we can go we can use a little baking soda we can go we could blend even the very almond and we can exfoliate our skin we can also get some green tea we could add it to it and all of these amazing natural ingredients is the same ingredient that they're using in the beauty products we now know that so we don't have to be like we cannot afford to go out there and buy a, a, a facial scrub so we all can make one for ourselves and when we have the extra fun we treat ourselves to a product that we can afford to buy and that is why people are looking much better and people are aging in reverse and that is the honest truth you now know that you live wherever you live let's say now you know what they're using in Korea for their skincare products you know what they're using in let's say the Netherlands for their skincare product you know a wide variety of different countries what each and every one is using before you know nothing because you have no access to this as a matter of fact before is only the little commercial that you see on television and most time they're advertising a beauty product now it's different you come you get the internet you research things for yourself you have a blackhead you'll be like you know you jump what's the natural ingredient I can use to get rid of the blackhead it is right there for you that is that's contribute to people looking better because they now have all the information they need to take care of their skin on a whole now if you're just joining give us a thumbs up and if you're watching and you didn't give us a thumbs up as yet that is how the system know that you know you're enjoying our show and that's how you support the channel so give the video a thumbs up and also comment if you're watching from Facebook give us a like give us a little emoji and commenting is good guys I like when you comment I might not get a chance to answer all the comments but what I do when the show is over I normally go back and I go through the comments and that's why sometimes when you're missing from the show like the regular I can tell you that oh I haven't seen you for a while I want my skin plump vibrant and wrinkle free from the kitchen and here you are now you want to plump up your skin here is a good remedy for you if you are not vegan and you don't mind using some eggs you can use the egg white you can blend that out with a little aloe vera gel and apply it on your skin upwards okay upwards and leave it to dry a good egg mask gonna have to tighten that skin but to put the icing on that cake do the facial massages 
do the facial massages every day and most of my subscribers that watch the live show are massaging their face because along with using the beauty product that also have to tighten the skin you want your skin to look vibrant and glowing you need vitamin C and vitamin C will have to clear pigmentation from the skin you can find vitamin C in papaya you can find vitamin C in avocado you can buy, find vitamin C in lemon lime and the good old grapefruit I noticed a lot of people don't grapefruit kind of get a bad rap to be honest and the reason why grapefruit get a bad rap is not about using grapefruit fruit on your skin is about taking grapefruit internally because grapefruit tend to you know, not goes with certain medication but you know 10 years ago it was everything grapefruit personally for me I still love this grapefruit as a matter of fact grapefruit is so big that you can just cut open a fresh grapefruit get some sugar with a little olive oil dip that grapefruit in it and use that in your shop oh my goodness that is so nice just use that grapefruit fresh grapefruit in your shower just exfoliate your entire body with that brown sugar and olive oil Whew. and not only that that refreshing fragrance coming from that grapefruit amazing so I know like here I find that the grapefruit is a little expensive to be honest but if you live somewhere and it's not that of a you know you can afford to just go pick a grapefruit don't avoid it it is still very much good for your skin especially your entire body and if you have dull skin you can as a matter of fact it is more gentle on the skin than lemon okay grapefruit is more gentle on the skin than lemon lemon however have a bit more vitamin C than grapefruit but grapefruit get the job done exfoliate that skin with that vitamin C natural vitamin C another um, natural ingredient that have more vitamin C than the grapefruit believe it or not is kiwi if you live somewhere where you can have kiwi without having to pay what nowadays years ago it used to be like all six for a dollar kiwi now you're gonna pay two dollars for three kiwi but if you can get kiwi blend up a kiwi okay blend it up and just apply it on the face in a, and it have those little fine seeds in it that will also have to exfoliate or half of a kiwi just eat a piece leave a half blend that rice add that kiwi to it and rub your face and your neck I do not use a lot of kiwi on the channel because most people depending on where you live don't have access to the kiwi and that's why I don't use it but if you have it it's amazing rich in vitamin C and is very very refreshing so go ahead and do that and watch my channel on my channel page you're gonna find a wide variety of natural remedies that you can whip up in your kitchen and transform your skin however you need to know exactly what you're doing and that is what I teach on this channel I teach you how to make those remedies but I also teach you how to use them on the skin everyone's skin is different what work on my skin might not work on your skin the trick is to know your skin how do you know your skin First thing you need to know what kind of a skin you have whether you have normal skin sensitive skin oily skin dry skin combination skin you need to know your skin type once you can identify your skin type and it's pretty easy a quick test that I normally share is go to the shower wash your face like you know regular do not add anything to your skin for an whole hour now don't go sit in front of an AC and then you do this test just do go about your business normally for one hour then you go back and you can take a like a tissue like this and you can put this is an easy way to know certain things not sensitive skin however because you have to apply products on the skin to know if you have sensitive skin but you take their tissue you press it on your face like this now this is not gonna work for me because I'm sweating like crazy but when you take it off like this you're gonna know if you have any form of a oil if it's all over it's oily or before the hour is up your face feel greasy it could mean you have oily skin if your face is extremely dry after that it could mean you have dry skin or you can find that some place is oily and some place is dry that also could determine if you have combination skin for sensitive skin it's gonna be every little thing that you apply is gonna eat your skin that is easy now once you can identify what skin type you 
you have, then you will know how to take care of your skin. Now, some of the remedies that I make is not good for all skin type. And that's why sometimes I'll be like, this is good for most skin type, okay? Now, if you are sensitive skin, always patch test. And most of my video, I might tell you patch test before you use. When I give an, uh, a recipe like using rice, I know rice does not affect, you know, as most people with sensitive skin. And I will say that. So once you know how to do that, know your skin type, you'll know how to take care of your skin. Now, here is the base that everyone need to do to their skin. You need to wash your face at least twice per week. <laughs> Twice per week, can you believe that? We would be drowning in dead skin cell twice per day. Now, some people be like, I don't want to wash my face twice per day. But honestly, it keeps the skin looking healthy. So you can do a good scrub in the in the evening and just rinse in the morning. But personally for me, I like to wash my face twice per day. And most people with healthy looking skin wash their face twice a day. But here is the trick. It don't mean you're going to scrub your face morning and scrub your face evening. No. And we have a printout on our website, chichibeauty.com. Um, you can go over there and you can get a full printout, a 28 days printout, and exactly how to take care of your skin for 28 days. But back to washing your face. Twice per day, you need to wash your face. And in the mornings, you're going to use your morning um, beauty products. So you're going to use your facial um, moisturizer that is rich in with SPF for your daytime. Okay. You're going to apply your under eye cream and you're also going to make sure to spritz on a moisturizer or to apply a moisturizer. Use a facial toner, a facial serum and a moisturizer in the morning. Moisturizer should have sunscreen. No sunscreen in your moisturizer. Had a little sunscreen over that. In the PM, that is when you're gonna take care of your skin. Two times, um, two to three times a week, you're gonna exfoliate in the PM. Two to three times per week, you're gonna do a facial mask. Now I suggest you also steam that face two or three times per week. Once you get the base, and we're gonna do over our, our skincare challenge come September. So if you missed the first one, you can join us for the second one. Once you have the base, the ABC of taking care of your skin, then you're on your way to beautiful looking skin because of the foundation. The foundation, wash, exfoliate, do a facial, no, steam, exfoliate, do a facial mask, wear your beauty products and massage your skin. That's it. That's for everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. If you can practice that, you will reverse your skin. In a reverse aging, your skin will look healthier, fresher, and also radiant with a natural glow. That's all you need. Bright looking skin. No form of bleaching cream or nothing. Just by exfoliating and steaming and massaging and you're good to go. Challenge me. Challenge me. You can always, always challenge me. Like, I don't believe you. I'm going to do it and see if it works. Just do it. We, the very first challenge that we did on this show, I was blown away. Why, I haven't seen her for a while. I think she just came on for the challenge. And her skin, she sent picture. Her skin was looking, I'm not going to say, you know, the best. It wasn't looking the best at all. She have, she was like loaded with hyperpigmentation on the skin. And almost every day she was sending a picture during the 25 day skincare challenge. And at the end of that challenge, I myself was blown away because I did not, I do know I made up the challenge and I also do everything, but I was blown away. And this person followed that challenge to a T. I haven't seen her chatting with Lex. If you're out there, we need you to come back and share your, let me see what your, what is happening with your skin right now. Our skin transform like day to night. No joke, day to night. And that was just 25 days. However, dedication is the key to getting your skin to look good. Choose remedies that is good for your skin. And on this channel, just watch some of the videos. You're going to learn a lot. Every single ingredient that I use in beauty products, the own remedies, I normally tell you what you're getting from it. If I'm using avocado, at what point do I use the eye cream? Above or below the moisturizer? Sorry, guys, I got to answer this question. This is a very, very good question. Now, the moisturizer is not to go around your eyes. However... However, it is best 
to apply your eye cream first. And here are the reason why I'm going to say to apply your eye cream first. Not everyone is skill enough to apply the moisturizer without being tempted to put it under the eyes. So apply your eye cream first and then you apply your moisturizer. If you're good and you're regular using, you know, taking care of your skin and applying your beauty products and you have this down to a T, then you can apply your, your, your moisturizer first. But if you're just starting out and, you know, you're tempted because some people normally just apply the moisturizer all over, including under their eyes. Go ahead and do their eyes first. Very, 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 very good question. So once you wash your face, your face is clean, whether you're exfoliating or not, you pat dry the skin. The first thing you're going to apply on the skin is a facial toner. You spritz it on, you let it dry a little bit, and then you apply your eye cream or your eye serum or even your oil that you use under your eyes. You apply that and then you go ahead and you apply your face serum and your facial moisturizer. Very, very, very good. Now, remember Thursday midday show with Chichi Beauty at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific, Pacific, Pacific Time. Every weekdays, guys, we have a live show on a Thursday at 12 noon. On that show, we don't, most of we don't talk about skincare. We talk about other things to support our channel by coming over and watching. Now, let's take some comments. Linus, don't forget, 11 a.m. Central. Okay, thank you for that. So, it is 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, and 9 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you for that. And I will remember to add that to to the time um your stuff works look at how beautiful she is dazzling thank you so much for that and i definitely use my own remedies this is your first time tuning in from jamaica hi you all out there in jamaica my country yes love it guess what guys last week guess what i bought bula okay if you're jamaica you know what i'm talking about with some cheese it's all good all right so shout out to my jamaican subscribers um that is watching and i can't wait to come home anyway let's move on hi lana nurse is it okay to blend and freeze parsley juice for under the eyes treatment as the parsley dry out easily when i leave it in the fridge yes because you don't get a lot of juice from it so definitely freeze it and when you're ready to use it the fresh parsley that is when you're ready to use it just just you know um thaw out that ice cube perfect 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 now claudia simit what can i do with avocado skin now depending on where you live depending on where you live or where you get your avocado from if you live somewhere where your avocado grow in the back of your yard and you can go and pick that guess what the the peel make an excellent facial scrub you gotta blend it though you gotta blend it to a fine granule add a little bit of an oil to it and it makes an excellent facial scrub if you live somewhere else where you have to go and buy it then you leave the peel alone because that is rigged unless you're going to use some vinegar and stuff like that to wash the chemical off but once you have that in your backyard where you can go pick it take that peel blend it out and i think i have one video using the peel blend it out and add some little oil to it and exfoliate that skin that peel is rich in vitamin a okay and it's also rich in vitamin c so it's really really good but as i said depending on where you live very 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 good um comment now um jaquita sensitive skin hyperpigmentation at one point it's time rosea i haven't had that in a while now we just gave a recipe for sensitive skin with hyperpigmentation you need vitamin c now it's very tricky because your skin is sensitive so you're gonna find the best and the 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 the, the mildest vitamin c that you can therefore i'm not going to tell you to go out there and get some you know some lemon juice or some fresh lemon zest however dry orange peel when it is dry most time it is good for certain sensitive skin most people with sensitive skin depend on the severity of your sensitivity can use the dry orange peel however you can also try kiwi make sure the kiwi is peel you can actually try that but the good old avocado also contains vitamin c which can help to clear the hyperpigmentation but here is what you do 
follow the remedy that I gave the person earlier if you were on where I shared to blend the rice because rice is good for most skin type including sensitive skin and steam the face your skin is sensitive so twice per week you're gonna steam that face and use that roll that 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 rice as a gentle exfoliator blend it to a powder and exfoliate your skin and then you're gonna spot treat those areas where you tend to have the pigmentation and what you're gonna use is vitamin C you can get the vitamin C powder but if you want something natural is the potato now your skin is sensitive the potato might you know give you a little itching or something like that but try the orange bee powder but you got to dry it. the fresh one could you know irritate your skin the dry one might not irritate the skin and it is rich in vitamin C okay we have some other remedies that is rich in vitamin C that can clear pigmentation go on my channel page and look for get rid of hyperpigmentation what I'm gonna start to do I'm gonna make a playlist and I promise you guys I'm gonna make a playlist with all the recipes for sensitive skin for hyperpigmentation I promise you it's a lot of work guys but I promise I'm gonna try to get to that so you have your own playlist and I also will list on my videos what remedy is good for sensitive skin and we also have um shireen Sh not shireen um shereza what can you do with lemon skin dry it just with and this is what i do i dry it with the orange peel so i dry both the orange and the lemon sometimes i'm using it both i'm like lemon orange peel but most time it is mixed with the lemon peel however the fresh lemon zest with some yogurt for those of you who are looking for a quick you go into a function, you want your skin to look radiant like really, really quick. You have a little yogurt, you have a lemon, just zest that lemon in that yogurt, mix it up, rub it on the face, let it sit on the face for about 30 minutes and rinse it off. Beautiful looking skin with that orange zest. Don't throw, lemon zest, don't throw that out. Lime, you do not have lemon and you have that lime, go ahead and do the same. You dry that lime peel. As a matter of fact, I like that fragrance from the lime. Dry that lime peel, mix it with the orange or just by itself, amazing vitamin C, natural vitamin C. Now we have um, um, Tola, any remedy to reduce um, cold sore? Now the reason why we're not gonna answer this question because once you mention that, that's a medical question right there. So we cannot um, take um, medical um, questions, okay? And I hope you understand why the system does not allow us to do that. Hi, Maureen, how are you? Bula and cheese, nice, 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 nice. Now, Rita, um, how about an orange? Yes, orange, just like the grapefruit. Cut that orange and just rub it in that um, sugar and exfoliate your body and you are good to go. Love it, love it. We have a lot of new people on today. I'm trying to answer. Um, Gail, that will be great because I have sensitive skin and so many, many things and and um, did not work. Definitely, Gail, go ahead and try some of our remedy. Dark Angel, now I'm exfoliating my skin with baking soda with either black seed oil or coconut oil. Let me hear from you, Dark Angel. You're doing it. Do you see any difference to your skin? Comment, as, and I'm gonna search for your comment, so let me know, Does it, is it making a difference? I personally like the baking soda on my skin, especially when I kind of forget about my skin for, well, it don't really happen like that, but, like you know when i want a good exfoliating going on the baking soda and the coconut oil is my go-to and some people have a problem with it but it really works on my skin now we have um zaina i hope this is right i try vitamin c it's wonderful wonderful mask there thank you and thank you for you know at least trying the remedies you need to not just watch but you need to try also now if you're just joining us give us a thumbs up I start at Timothy Hill for the entire time, top off the bill, not sure what the conversation is about. Now, Julie, hi, Julie. I just twice a day to keep your face clean and nice. If you're just joining, welcome to the live chat. We are talking about boots, just basically taking care of the skin on a whole. It is Sunday, and on Sunday, we just be all over the place. I try to answer as many questions. I will just tell you how to get your skin to look good. So go ahead and comment, comment, comment. And if you're commenting and you forget to give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up. That's how, you know, the system knows that you are enjoying the chat. Angela, should I use sunscreen on my face after using the tomato and sea salt recipe? And can I use fresh aloe vera with the recipe? Yes, you can use fresh aloe vera with the recipe 
and to answer your question should i use sunscreen on my face after using the tomato and the sea salt yes as a matter of fact when you use the tomato on the face you also need to be mindful of how you go out in the sun because it's almost like you give yourself a facial peel because the acid from the tomato is that strong enough to give you a light peel on the face and you're not sure what we're talking about the facial peel we'll address it later on but the acid is very strong and it's best to use that um tomato facial pm so that you go to sleep and yes yes definitely definitely use a sunscreen very 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 good comment now um if you are watching you love this sunday chat give us a thumbs up and comment also and let us know that you are enjoying the sunday chat i just look at the time and i i, I normally have this problem with the sunday chat the time just like just disappear can you put the baking soda in the refrigerator yes 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 and when you put baking soda in the refrigerator if you open it it absorbs the scent of the refrigerator however it is still good to use in your homemade diy for your face okay all right so um um is liz sip chichi i used to be here a couple years ago the skin was fine and i move on but i'm back now i keep breaking out on my cheeks and chin and i'm laughing at you right you know why i'm laughing at you i love these comments because this is exactly what i'm talking about when it comes on to the skin and when it comes on to us taking care of ourselves we go through a process we do go through a process and this happened to everyone regardless of who you are you have a time when you're so into yourself you want to make sure your skin is right you want to make sure your hair is right you want to make sure everything is right but sometimes life happens and we tend to stray we tend to you know don't really bother me can't bother to do my nails no more i can't you know and then we just stray but after a while we realize that you know i need to go back to taking care of myself and then you come back and that's why i like my channel because if you're here for all the time you're good and if you leave and you come back you're coming back because you know when you were here your skin was looking amazing so welcome back and guess what i'm asking you to do just watch my 25 day skincare challenge the link is below it's gonna give you a kick start and not only that the whole printout is there for you go on my website chichibeauty.com and you're gonna get a 28 day skincare printout and you can take your skin but transform back your skin to reverse aging to look younger and you know get your skin to look better one more time one more time i should have been a while but i watch your videos and doing your remedy i just bought the vitamin c powder how do i use it okay 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 all right you need some some purified water or some distilled water you don't have that not to worry just boil some water in your kitchen boil it for about 20 minutes okay you need at least 20 minutes whenever you're boiling water any at all guys sometimes people wait until it just start to boil when you just boil the water up in two three minutes guess what it's not gonna get rid of all of the chemical and whatever is in the water water need to be boiled for at least 20 20 minutes for it to be purified okay all right so boil that water and then you let the water cool that's what you're gonna use to make your vitamin C so you're gonna take um, one part I have the recipe sent for it just send for Chichi beauty at gmail.com and I'm gonna give you the exact measurement because I don't want to give you the measurement and I didn't give it a right but one part um water to uh, uh after, all right send for it send for it because a pinch of a dot and a dot and I don't want you to make too much one time so I'm gonna give you the as a matter of fact I'm also gonna put the recipe on my website so you can go and see but definitely send the email to chichi beauty at gmail.com and I'm gonna give you the recipe and for those of you who want to know how to make it not to worry you can send to and I'm gonna post it on the website no longer than tomorrow how to use the vitamin C um, powder if you have the vitamin C powder now Juliana she is on it she left and came back that is why when people leave I don't worry because I know they're gonna come back all right so guess what guys I can't believe my time all right let's see who's losing some weight here now um Rena I lost 80 pounds and I have a lot of loose skin please help massage 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 now Rena guess what we're sending you we are sending you to do our 25 day skincare challenge but not only that we are sending you let me see if i have that video 
up here. I think I took that down, but I have a video showing you how to massage your face. Come back in the week. I might show in a, a, a pop-up show, and I'm going to play that video showing you how, how to exfoliate your skin. In our 25 Day Skincare Challenge, we actually played that video. You need to expo that exfoliate. You need to massage your skin daily. So you need to watch some special massage and neck massaging videos and use it along with skin tightening remedies. Skin tightening remedies such as clay mask, rice mask, flour, um oatmeal that's also potato starch how could i forget the good old potato starch okay the, as a matter of fact one of my best skin tightening remedy to be honest is with potato starch one of my best skin tightening remedy is with potato starch and it's hands down because it gives you instant result hands down instant result i am gonna have a show one day on this like i know i know how to do it and i'm going to share all of my top videos that can give you a result within three to six weeks with not even blinking that really really work promise you guys i'm going to do that show for you but if you don't know that video go and watch it it is the reason that video have probably i'm not even sure how much million views because it really really worked and you see instant result the potato starch you juice that potato you put the starch aside you take it back and you make it and you use it tighten the skin natural botox i call that one you want a homemade botox remedy that is the one for you the next thing that come the closest to that is the rice how you use the rice i blend the rice to the powder and then i had the hot water to it i made that rice cream and use it on the skin tighten that skin works like a charm the next thing that comes in line to that is the egg white okay the egg white really really works and the next thing after that is the corn starch but you gotta go on the video my channel page and watch some of those massaging your skin is vital for reducing wrinkles and fine lines massaging the skin is vital along with some skin tightening remedies i'm over time now i can see i'm going to take a few more questions and i have to run now next week we're going to be on and we could continue as a matter of fact i do a topic similar to this next week so i can answer more questions because the honest truth is that was the reason why i made sunday to chat so i can answer your question so come back next week at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time for another in the series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chitty Beauty. Let me take a few questions and then, is there a difference between vitamin C powder and orange peel powder? Now I'm gonna answer that question. Yes, yes, yes. The vitamin C powder that you're gonna buy is one that they make up with ascorbic acid and ascorbic acid do come from citrus fruit and all of that. Orange peel powder is rich in vitamin C, which is also a bit of the extract that is used in the natural um, vitamin C that you're going to buy in the store. So when you buy that one in the store, they extract um, the vitamin C from several different fruits and put it in that one and turn it to a powder. When you get the orange peel or the lemon zest, it says rich in vitamin C, which is a natural vitamin C that you can use directly on the skin. Very, 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 very good question. My skin is looking so smooth and clear since I start the skincare challenge. Thanks a lot, Chichi. Yeah, I love the potato mass and you hear it from the subscriber that is here and doing their thing. Maya, um, we do use on your body what do you use on your body for sunscreen as i said aloe vera gel if you want the natural remedy for sunscreen that i can give is aloe vera gel but i always suggest that is one thing that you get for yourself and guess what it's always done go to the lower shelf it's gonna be there and it's not gonna cost you a ton of money and it's gonna be something that lasts a long time because a little goes a long way all right so we are moving on best thing on the eye fine lines and wrinkles clean your on the eyes that's what i share earlier i know you just joined in make sure to clean the on the eyes every day anything with vitamin a and vitamin c is going to help your on the eyes avocado oil is an oil that contains vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e and omega-3 that is a good on the eye um, remedy you can just dab it under your eyes after you clean your eyes another one is rose hip oil and another one is the cucumber seed oil definitely rose hip oil vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e that means it's going to help with the wrinkles it's going to help with the dark spots and blemishes and it's going to make your eyes look wide away we have some massaging tips if you look on our 28 day skincare challenge choose the video with 
that we talk about eyes and you're good to go what can remove wart banana peel and um, some apple cider vinegar mixed together works like a charm to get rid of um, skin tag and we my time is up but I'm trying to see how many more forever grateful no worries no cry thank you so much for that now my time is up guys I actually enjoy this show today what I'm gonna be doing when I'm done the show I'm gonna go back to my product project that I am um, doing um, outside very soon you guys might get a little chance to see and uh, can you put the baking soda yes I did read that so that is my time however if you are just joining and you didn't give us a thumbs up before you click off give us a thumbs up that's how the system know that you're enjoying our chat support our channel and guess what come back next week Kisha this week maybe about Wednesday you know call you anyway come back next week Sunday we are gonna have this show again this is on every Sunday at 4 30 p.m. Eastern I take your question I share tips and not only remedies but I share tips on how to take care of your skin your body and a whole and just how to live your life and enjoy yourself now 3d I think I think um, my skin is getting too used to the coconut oil because it's trying to break it out again. So I decide I use the orange and some sugar, and that is it. When you get when your skin gets tired of one thing, you gotta change to another because guess what? That's just the way of the world. When you eat too much potato, you get tired. You want some rice or you want some pasta. So change things up a bit. You're interchange things, but things that really work. Give it a break and then you go back to it. Very, 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 very important. Now, join me on Thursday, guys, at 12 noon. And also, watch our daily video. I know that some of my subscribers are not tuning in for the daily video, but every day we post a video on the channel. We post a recipe on the channel, a remedy, or something. If you want to support us, go ahead and watch that video every day. Just, you know, Search, just come on whenever you have the time and just look and see what we post today give a comment always leave a comment so that we know that you are watching and that you are enjoying our you know channel support 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 and if you are just joining today and you did not yet subscribe to the channel well look below you're gonna see the word subscribe in red just click on it and you're subscribed but if you want to get a video notification as soon as i post a video click on that little bell at the side but guess what when you click on that little bell you got to go in your phone and you got to go in your settings and you got to click on get notification from youtube just put that little green thing to the side make the green thing highlight and that's how you're gonna guarantee that you are gonna get the notification as soon as the video is posted. thank you so much for watching and for those of you who are here with me supporting me forever and forever i'm so grateful and for all my new subscribers welcome stay with me stay with me we have some no new stuff coming up and also if you are just passing through try to pass through next week again because i know some people just pass through and then they just pass through and even if you don't subscribe just keep watching love you guys up to the moon and back and i'll see you next sunday for sunday chit chat next thursday for weekdays with chichi and every day in our daily video be good to yourself take care of yourself don't forget exfoliate two times per week do a facial steam two times per week and massage your face every day and you're on your way to wrinkle free gorgeous beautiful bright 